Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest installment of our YouTube vlog. Today we are standing outside of my most exciting project yet. This is a subdivision located in the town of Oyster Bay. We're going to be renovating this 1940s farmhouse and building a brand new house on the newly formed 70 by 100 lot. And if you want to know what that house is going to look like, scroll back on our recent videos and find the episode for plain view number four because we're literally picking up that house and dropping it on that vacant lot. It's going to be a five bedroom, four bathroom, brand new new construction. And as you've come to expect from our pinnacle builds, this 1940s farm ranch is gonna to be totally gutted, renovated from the basement to the attic with all new mechanicals, all new plumbing, five bedrooms, three baths, and I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do with this property when I'm done. Let me show you that vacant lot and then we'll go inside this house. This entire neighborhood behind me was built in the 1950s, and prior to that, it was all farmland. And this was the farmhouse where several of the family members lived for very many decades before I bought this property. It's a corner piece, it's oversized, and we were just barely able to get an R17 zoning lot as of right behind me. In the meantime, we bought the house as is without a subject to clause, so there was a tremendous amount of risk that we weren't gonna be able to get the subdivision. But now that we have approvals, we're getting ready to start this renovation and dig the hole for a brand new house. So this line right here is gonna be the new property line. This is gonna be the end of the backyard for the farmhouse, and then this starts the side yard of the new home. The new home is actually gonna face this roadway. And as I mentioned, it's gonna be a five bed, four bath colonial. With all your normal setbacks, we're meeting all the requirements of R17 zoning. And if you wanna get in early and customize your home, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. We're so lucky to have neighbors that did not give us a hard time about getting the subdivision, and I wanna make sure that we're off on the right foot from the beginning. I let my neighbors know, generally I drive around in a pickup truck, there's a broom in my, a broom and a shovel in my truck, and, and at the end of every single day, I'm gonna be here to make sure that whoever locked up last did the right thing. And if there's any issue, I gave every single neighbor in the vicinity my personal cell number so they can reach me anytime. That neighbor told me, we really like what you're doing, but we're really not happy about the bushes over our fence. Can you take care of that for us? We weren't able to open our pool this year the next day I sent my landscaper to take down the bushes and already right off the bat a few of our neighbors have already realized that we're gonna be great neighbors let's talk about the subdivision process quickly if you think you've got a property that potentially could be subdivided the first step is to take a survey and go talk to a zoning attorney once I did that and I felt I had a very good chance of getting the subdivision the next step is to draw up two sets of plans one for the existing house one for the new house file them with the township that you're working in and make sure that your calculations work out and they think you actually have a good shot of getting the subdivision once you get a rejection for those plans because one of them doesn't meet the requirements or because it's a subdivision or there's some kind of variance involved, then you go in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals. It's at that point where you're at the mercy of the Zoning Board of Appeals and the neighbors around you. As always, we made nice with our neighbors and we had to get consent from everybody in a 100 foot radius because no matter what you do, when that mailer goes out, they're gonna be informed regardless and it comes certified mail. So we knocked on each person's door. We were able to get signatures from five out of the seven people that back up to our properties and the other two decided they weren't going to oppose our application. So we went down to the town, we got our ZBA hearing, it took months to get on the calendar, it took months before that just to get to the point where we were even ready to go to the ZBA. We got our approvals, I brought my wife, my good luck charm with me, and as soon as we walked out of that meeting, you knew that you got it, it's just a matter of it being official. Now over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna file our planning commission paperwork with the county, we're gonna get our permit, and then we can start with the demo of this garage and building a brand new house. As soon as you walk into an older home, you know if you've walked into a solid house or a house that's been poorly maintained for decades. As soon as I walked in this house, I knew that knocking it down would be a huge shame. We've got this grandfathered in vestibule at the front door, a solid set of steps going up to the second floor, and pretty much a potentially what could be a very nice open layout. We've got a living room and a dining room. We're gonna keep this bedroom here. We'll probably relocate that doorway. There were two kitchens because at one point this was used kind of like a two family. So we're gonna knock out this kitchen. This will be our family room. We're gonna have a full bath, a kitchen right here, which is gonna be totally renovated, of course. New plumbing, new electric, new HVAC. We've got another bedroom over here. We've got a full basement that's totally unfinished and that's what I like to see 
in an older home. I don't wanna have to sift through seven layers of paneling and old crap to find that I have an issue with the basement. It's an old cinder block foundation. We're gonna waterproof everything and make it a beautiful finished basement. On this level, we're gonna have three bedrooms and two full baths and a laundry. This room is a great size, nothing to do here but replace the windows, new insulation, new electric, new sheetrock, brand new full bath. I'm gonna open this up just a little bit. It's a little narrow over here. And this is where I felt some space was wasted. So we're gonna do a second floor laundry, which everybody loves. We're gonna turn this whole area into a primary suite with a full bath and walk-in closet. But then what happens with this space? It's a nice size bedroom. We'll make a hallway over here. And I'm gonna actually do a little dormer right there so we can get a full size egress window and make the front elevation of the house a little bit more interesting. Now this primary suite is gonna have a big walk-in closet, a nice size bath, and this is gonna be everything that you want from a newly renovated home in Plainview. Five beds, three baths, finished basement, great location, Stratford Elementary, and you're so close to Syosset, Plainview, Hicksville, Starbucks is walking distance, Trader Joe's is walking distance, TJ Maxx, the car wash, ShopRite, you name it. This is a fantastic location and an opportunity to get in early on a fully renovated home in Plainview. Thank you so much for watching this episode, for coming along on this preview of our upcoming subdivision in Plainview, New York. We're gonna be renovating this home. We're gonna be building a brand new home here. And I'm so excited to bring all of you on the journey. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like content like this, follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day.